Eric Ten Hag aimed a dig at Gareth Southgate for his approach during England's 1-0 win over Serbia on Sunday, even if it largely mirrored that of Manchester United under the Dutchman. The three Lions got their Euro 2024 campaign underway with a 1-0 victory in Gelsenkirchen courtesy of Jude Bellingham's 13th-minute header. Southgate's side dominated possession but failed to create many openings, with captain Harry Kane remarkably only touching the ball once in the opening 45 minutes. England did improve in the second period, with Kane going close with a header, but Ten Hag was less than impressed with their DSI play. The Manchester United boss was working as a pundit for Dutch television channel NOS, and said after the match, it's the vision of the manager, Southgate, said Ten Hag. England will take a 1-0 lead, then he, Southgate, decides to start gambling with making his team compact and relying on moments for the remaining minutes of the game. There is a strong argument that Ten Hag was essentially explaining the tactics of his side, who often seek to rely on moments to win matches, but the Dutchman has now become emboldened in his role following United's decision to stick with him this summer after conducting a club review. Many had expected last month's FA Cup final to be Ten Hag's final match in charge of United, but he will now stay in his role and is expected to hold talks over a new contract. Ten Hag admitted that the club held talks with the former Chelsea manager Thomas Tuchel, who left Bayern Munich this summer, about replacing him, but says they eventually came to the right decision. Here in Holland this, talking to another manager, is not done, in fact, it's not even allowed here, he said. But in England, they have different rules and laws. Ineos took their time, they are new in football, it's normal to reflect on the season. It's no secret that they talked with multiple candidates. Manchester United have told me that they spoke with Tuchel, but they eventually came to the conclusion that they already have the best manager. Ten Hag also claimed that United left-back Luke Shaw will be fit to return for England in the knockout stages. Manchester United do need to move a few players on this summer and in a few cases, international tournaments could put them in the shop window. One such player is Christian Eriksen, who struggled for game time at Manchester United last season and when he did play, he found himself overrun amid the intensity of Premier League games. Eriksen is using Euro 2024 to demonstrate he still has something to offer. He was excellent in Denmark's opening match, in which they were unlucky not to take all three points against Slovenia. The Manchester United midfielder scored Denmark's goal in the first half, with his performance in the first 45 minutes in particular hailed as a masterclass. Christian Eriksen makes big impact. Christian Eriksen was a force to be reckoned with in Denmark's Euro 2024 opener, at the heart of their biggest moments in the game. The numbers he put together were outstanding, and Denmark will feel they were very unlucky to come away from the game with a 1-1 one -one draw. From the five shots Eriksen attempted, one was on target which hit the back of the net, two missed the target and two were blocked. Denmark could have done with getting him inside the Slovenia box more. He had only four touches inside the penalty area. When he did get the ball in the box, that's when he found the net. First time since Euro 2012. Christian Eriksen's impressive contribution against Slovenia was highlighted by an impressive statistic to come from the game. Opta reports that his seven chances created and five shots attempted was, the most by a midfielder in a game at the Euros since Mesut Ozil vs Greece in 2012. This highlights the quality Eriksen has with the ball at his feet, but a tough test awaits in the upcoming games. Denmark face England up next and then Serbia, two physical sides which will provide a real test for Eriksen. If he makes a similar contribution to the one he made against Slovenia, then Denmark have a real chance to progress. According to Jose Barroso in Lecce, Manchester United and Arsenal are in the battle to sign on loan Paris Saint-Germain star Xavi Simons this summer. The 21-year-old has already bounced around Europe, even at his young age, leaving Barcelona for Paris Saint-Germain as a 16-year-old, before spending one season at PSV Eindhoven, before Les Parisians exercised a buy-back clause in his contract, bringing him back to the French capital for €6 million. Euros. He then spent the most recent season on loan at RB Leipzig, scoring 10 goals in 43 appearances as Die Roten Bullen finished fourth in the Bundesliga. On 1 July, he will officially become a PSG player again, with the League One champions looking to loan him out again, before eventually reintegrating him into their first team in the future.
Simons is currently at the European Championships, starting the Netherlands 2-1 win over Poland at Volksparkstadion on Sunday afternoon, so some good performances in Germany will only raise interest him. When asked about his future, Simons said, I will make a decision after the Euros in a short break. I want to be focused on the tournament because that is my current priority and afterwards already will speak with the PSG. Would Simons be a good signing for Manchester United? As we know, Eric Ten Hag likes signing players he's familiar with, having brought Andre Onana, Mason Mount, Lissandro Martinez and Anthony to Manchester United, all players he'd previously managed, also acquiring fellow Dutchman Tyrell Malaysia and Wout Weghorst. Now that it's been confirmed Ten Hag is staying at Old Trafford, it'll be interesting to see if he continues to have a big say in transfer, as Sir Jim Ratcliffe continues to restructure the club off the field. On the pitch, Simons could offer the attacking creativity that Man United have been lacking, forming a midfield trio with Kabi Mainu and Bruno Fernandes, essentially taking up the position neither Christian Eriksen nor the aforementioned Mount have been able to nail down. Could Simons elevate Arsenal to the next level? Twelve months ago, all the transfer talk surrounding Arsenal was about trying to find this now infamous, left eight, seeking to replace Granit Xhaka, joining Declan Rice and Martin Odegaard in the midfield trio. Kai Havertz was bought to be this player, but only really looked comfortable up front so, once again, midfield is an area Mikel Arteta is looking to strengthen. Simons was outstanding against the Gunners during his PSV days, a 2-0 Europa League defeat in Eindhoven for Arteta's team in 2022, so it's no surprise Arsenal are interested. The Dutchman is valued at around £68 million by Transfermarkt so a loan move for the 21-year-old would allow Arsenal to allocate their resources to other positions.